Sofian, welcome to Manchester United. Thank you. How does it feel to be a Manchester United player? Yeah, fantastic. Um, I think uh, I don't have to speak about how huge Manchester United is, how big or fantastic club it uh, is. So yeah, it's it's like a dream. It's an absolute pleasure to see you here, and you were linked with United for quite some time. Was it a move you really wanted to happen? Yes, yeah, it's clear that uh, I really wanted uh, to be here to come. Uh, there were there was a lot of uh, interest, and I think it was a long market because the last game was in June, so June, July, August, three months, uh, very long three months. How excited are you to get started to meet your teammates? And to show the fans um, what you can do. Um, I, I, I saw some uh, some teammates, and uh, it was a very warm welcome. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait to start. For the United fans who may not have seen much of you, how would you describe your style of play? My style of play. Um, I don't like to to speak about myself. Um, I want to show it on the pitch, um, but. Uh, I can promise that I will give, uh, give my all, give my best, give everything, every day, every minute, every second. So it is the only thing what I can say now. And how important was your time at Fiorentina to develop your career? Yeah, I had a fantastic time there. Uh, three years. Fiorentina has, I think, a fantastic club, especially when you were young to develop, to learn. The Italian league is a strong league, so it was a good time. Many United fans saw you for the first time during the World Cup finals, um, where you were brilliant. Morocco were brilliant. It was a pleasure to watch you play. How much did that experience help you grow as a player and as a person? Um, yeah, the World Cup uh, was amazing, uh, especially for us, the first uh, first African Arabic team who reached the semi-finals. So yeah. And for me personally, but I think for all the players, it was a fantastic experience. It was now my second World Cup. I hope to play one, two, two more. I think three, three is maybe the name to old. But <laughs> I hope to play two more. But I think the most, uh, but the most nice uh, thing was the joy, the happiness we gave to the to the people all around the world. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. Yeah, I'm 100 percent like I said, joy to watch you. And now you've played in Holland, in Belgium, in Italy. You must really be ready to show what you can do in the Premier League here in England. Yes, I'm now uh, 27. I think I have quite a lot of experience. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for something new, something else. And I'm very excited to, to show it also here. And did you speak to your brother much about the Premier League? He was, of course, with Watford. Of course. Um, we spoke about it. He, he told me that, uh, I, that he thinks that I have to go to the Premier League that uh, is the strongest league of the world. So now I'm here, so I can't wait. Did you watch much Premier League when you were growing up and did you see much of United and were there any players you admired from the Reds? Of course, um, I think United had so much fantastic players. Um, yeah, I'm a midfielder, so in general, I look uh, more to the, to the midfielders like Paul Scholes, Roy Keane, uh, David Beckham. But there were so much uh, big players, Gary Neville, Ryan Ferdinand, Luis Saha, Wayne Rooney, Ronaldo. I can, I can continue for one hour with two, two, two say yeah. names. And Eric Ten Hag, our manager, was also your manager at Utrecht. So how much of an influence was he on those early stages of your career? Very important because uh, I was very young. I was uh, 18, 19 years old. And he gave, he gave me the chance to, to play in the first team of FC Utrecht. Uh, we had a fantastic time, we had a good season. I learned a lot, I learned a lot from him. So he was maybe one of the most important uh, uh, people in my career for, for now. And how excited are you to, to be reunited with him and, and work with him again? Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, because uh, I think uh, Eric Ten Hag is a coach who will push always to the limit. Uh, he's hungry. He, he wants to win, he's a winner, and me, I like that. I think uh, I'm also similar, I'm also a winner. I want to learn every day, and so yeah, I think it's a good match. And were you able to see much of what he achieved in his first season here, last season? Of course, of course. Uh, he, won the, he won the cup, he qualified for the Champions League, uh, one final, uh, yeah, fortunately he didn't win, 
but I think it's very nice that uh, you reach two finals. And the Moroccan flag will now be flying proudly over Old Trafford. Um, how proud are you to be the first Moroccan player to represent this club? Yeah, I'm very proud. Um, I think already a lot of Moroccans they followed already United, but now uh, a lot of extra million fans from Morocco, and they are so so proud. And I hope that I can make the fans of United and also them very, very happy and proud. You were born and raised yes, in the yes, Netherlands, yes. correct, yeah, but yes. um, are of Moroccan roots. So how proud are you of, of that heritage? Yeah, um, like you said, I born and raised in Holland. So for me, Holland's also for me a home. I left, uh, I lived there, I lived there for uh, 20 years, I lived there 20 years um, of my life. So, but yeah, um, Morocco is also something special. So yeah, it's it's very nice. Are you excited by um, United being back in the Champions League? You're able to play in the Champions League and experience those big, big European nights. Yes, I I played in the Champions League with uh, with Feyenoord and uh, Club Brugge. Um, so now the last four four years not. So I missed I missed it a lot. So I'm happy now uh, to be back on the biggest uh, stage. I think the biggest club tournament. Um, but most important, I hope that we can do something, reach something very nice and big with Manchester United. Our first game is Bayern Munich away, so it's a good baptism for you in that competition. Uh, do you know many of the United players in the squad already? Do you know any of the oh, uh, pers Personally not, but uh, of course I know all the names and all the players. I watch a lot of games. What sort of character are you around the training ground? What sort of person are you in that dressing room? Um, I think outside the pitch, I'm uh, relaxed. I like to laugh, uh, but inside the pitch, I'm uh, I'm a winner. I already I already said I think I'm a winner. I want to develop uh, every day. For me, when I go to the training, uh, I want to learn to be a better player than I was yesterday. And what do you have outside of football that interests you? That you're passionate about? What do you do to relax away from the pitch? Uh, to tell you the truth, not so much, um, because I remember when I was playing FC Utrecht, Erik Tanaki said one time uh, to us, uh, football is a way of life. And I think uh, this is the truth, because you have so many games, uh, so around, outside football, you still are busy with football because you have to recover, you have to eat well, etc, etc, so many things. So yeah, football is a way of life. And finally, what would your message be to the Manchester United fans who are really excited to see you play? I'm also really excited to be here. Uh, I really can't wait to start and I can promise them that I will uh, give, uh, give everything what I have to help the team and to make the fans proud. Well, we wish you all the very best. Good luck Thank and you very uh, much. it's a pleasure to see you here. Thank you very much.